noise here. Yeah, don't want to do it here. today. We were tagged by Flying Squirrel Outdoors and so we need to show you our five things and then we'll tag five um, folks and put them in the comments or in the description below. Our first item is water bottles. We always take water bottles with us when we are hiking. Um, we got these great um, hydro flask water bottles when we were in Hawaii a couple years ago, and they are fantastic. We absolutely love them. Yeah, I like the vacuum sealed part of them because they don't sweat on the outside. So yeah. if they're in your bag, they don't get everything all wet. They don't get anything wet at all. It's awesome. It's really cool. Um, each of us has a different color too, so it's nice so we know which ones are which. Um, the next thing is kind of weird. We have socks. Um, and I brought socks because when you're hiking, and if you're a hiker, you know this already, socks will make or break your hiking day. Um, either you have a good pair of socks with your shoes and you can hike all day, or you have a really crappy pair of socks and you are not happy and not having a good day. So these are Fox River socks. They're some of my favorites. Um, these are the more fluffy, thicker ones. And then... They also have some that aren't so thick, but they're wool blend socks and they're really good for being outdoors because they whip the water away from your skin, keep your feet pretty dry. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mike, you want to show them this one? Um, not really. I'm stuck with the dog on my lap. Oh, okay. Well, this is something that um, we recently had to get because we were on a hike and we weren't able to give our dogs water because we forgot a bowl. So, can you explain what this is? This is a collapsible bowl that comes in a case. So it stays nice and clean. Uh, you can just pour the water in there, the dogs can drink, and then you can dump it out real quick and easy. Let's see if Piper or Buster wants some. Buster, you want some water? Piper does. Piper wants some water? Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Buster, you want some water? No. He's like, no. He's, he's camera okay. shy. He doesn't want water. Anyways, yeah. this is a good container because, again, the dogs can just drink out of it. We can just dump the water out. It's all pretty much clean, and only a little bit of moisture stays in the bowl. We zip it back up. We're good to go to the next place. It's quick. It's painless. It's got a little carabiner so we can clip onto a backpack or throw it in the bag, either one. Uh, very nice to have. Not very nice to not have. True. Uh, that brings us to our next item. We might be clipping this on our backpack. And the backpack I have is a Chico bag backpack. It is pretty much like um, a kind of a collapsible backpack. It's made of recycled water bottles. I really like it a lot because it's got lots of straps for you to hook things to. Um, it's got little interior, it's got an interior pocket, it's got side pockets for water bottles, um, which is great, or anything else that you might want to put in there. Um, and it also folds up into its own little pocket. So that's really nice. And it's big enough to hold whatever I need, really, for, for me. I don't want to carry stuff for somebody else, but it's a great little day pack. Um, like I said, we just go hiking for like a day at a time. So. And we've decided we've, we've started carrying more than one bag. Um, the kids always want lots of snacks or they find rocks they want to bring back and we always get stuck carrying stuff. So we've gotten the kids their own backpacks recently so they can bring whatever they want, take back whatever they want. Uh, the only rule is that they don't leave trash. So They bring it, they take it back with them. Um, the last thing, and I don't know if you can see this very well, 
It is a whistle. It's just a regular old whistle, like a PE kind of whistle. Um, and it's great because if you're out in the woods and you're hiking and you get lost, you know, sometimes you don't have cell service, um, it starts to get dark. I mean, you know, if you're trying to, to find a way to get in touch with people, you can use a whistle, you know. People, people will hear a whistle and they will come looking for you. So uh, that was an old Girl Scout trick, you know, before everybody had GPS on their phones and cell service everywhere. Um, and I just still keep it. Well, the thing is with a whistle, if you yell and yell, your voice will get hoarse. It'll be hard to yell loud, but the whistle will be pretty loud almost no matter what. So it's, it's just a smart thing to have just in case, especially if you hike by yourself. Right, true. So those are our five things, and hopefully it wasn't too windy this time. Um, we told you our five like essential items or things that we always take with us, and um, so look for the comments down below for those of the, us who um, are tagged next, and make sure that you make your video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and comment and subscribe. If you didn't get tagged, you can make your own video anyway. It's open tag. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, and you can if you want to. Okay.